Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What I wanted to do today is take a look at some of these footies SBCs that we have gotten, some of the stuff that we've gotten inside of the game. Kind of like a footies update video. Obviously, you guys are in the game, you know what's going on. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the stuff that we have gotten on the game. Uh, we'll talk about this throwback Team of the Tournament SBC that we got. Um, and I want to specifically talk about the second chance footies winner SBCs. I have done the Griezmann card. He's in my squad right now. We'll talk about him. But I want to look at these individually. And if these are SBCs that you guys are considering to get, um, I think both these SBCs are great. Griezmann and Milinkovic Savage. The basically the aura of footies this year has been good value SBCs for these footies these footies cards. I mean, I can't think of mer me very many footies cards that haven't been that good of a value, kind of except for Pogba. He seems to be the one that was the most highest priced out of all of these, but it made sense, right? It's Pogba. So a lot of these cards though are very, very um, well priced. They're good value priced. Like look at this Milinkovic Savage card. Look at the card that you're getting here. 180, 190,000 coins to do this SBC right now on the Xbox, 195 on the PS4. And you're getting an absolutely mental card. Um, the packs back are okay, but if you're in it for this card, you're getting a ridiculous, ridiculous card. I mean, you can play him almost anywhere, apart from like a striker role. Um, but as a, a center mid, as a CDM, uh, shoot, even a right back, dude. Look at some of these statistics. He has great, aggression is the only thing. You might want to boost that if you're going to play him at CDM or in the back. Uh, but he has incredible stats. He's four star, four star. He's six foot three with nine th 93 heading and 93 jumping. So he's going to get up. He's going to be a freaking tower in the midfield for wherever you play him. Um, and he has high medium work rate. So maybe as a center mid, he could be good. Maybe he's an, even as a center attacking mid, he could be good as well if you want to play him kind of up front. Um, but this is almost like a Hullet esque kind of card. Like this is where you can kind of compare this card to Hullet in terms of the all round stats and what this card kind of brings. Agility and balance uh, still are a bit low on this card, but I mean, you're paying 180,000 coins for this ridiculous card. I think this one's worth it. Um, whether it's just a super sub or whether it's somebody that you're gonna actually fit into your team if you're running a Serie A team, you need an 85 rated squad with a team of the season or a team of the week player, and then 186 rated squad as well. So about 180K for Milinkovic Savage, I think is a crazy steal uh, for that card. Um, to put in your team or to just to just do as a super sub. I'm probably going to get him done here in the next couple of days uh, because I do want to use that card. And also, I just tried out Griezmann. I'm a fan of Griezmann. I played one game with him. I did score a goal. He was very good. Uh, he scored a finesse bar down 90th minute goal uh, on a finesse shot to win me the game. I just played with him, actually. Uh, but the 99 finishing and the 99 attack positioning, he's very good. I, I almost could maybe see this card if you're running a La Liga team or a French team and you need a center attacking mid. This guy might be a decent center attacking mid for you in behind like Mbappe um, or you know another French striker like Lacazette or Ben Yedder up top um, because I think this, uh, this guy, he could be suited for a center attacking mid role. Um, his power in the long shots, that's why I boosted the shot power plus 10. I think he did need that with the Hawk um, for sure. But this is a beast card as well. If we move on to Footbin to check this SBC out, uh, this Griezmann SBC is going for somewhere around 362,000 coins. He does have the Barcelona badge now on this card. You can see here the SBC goes from like 370k to 390k in terms of fluctuations. So I think that's a decent value. You get a 100k pack and a rare mega pack in return. And this card really isn't that much different than his Team of the Season variant. Basically, the difference is the dynamic image and the, the club change. So he goes from Atletico Madrid to Barcelona, which is a bit of a difference because if you're using Messi, it might enable you to get some green links in there if you need a green link for Messi, depending on what kind of team that you're rocking. So this card might help with that. And the biggest stat loss is the five physical here. So, you know, the stamina goes from 92 on this card on the team of the season. How much is the stamina here? It's 98, so that's your biggest jump. Maybe the aggression as well, going from 83 on the team of the season down to 78 on the uh, on this card right here. But other than that, this footies card I think is a pretty good value. You get a 100,000 coin pack back and a rare mega. Um, so basically, 
A lot of people can even do this type of SBC from the club. You need an 89 rated, and if you have a couple discard team of the seasons, like a, a Delort or um, even one high rated team of the season card, like a Sommer or something like that, you're going to be able to get that SBC done pretty easily um, and get some pack value back in return. And if off that 100k pack, most people are making like 50 to 100k off of their 100k packs back. Uh, because you pack one or two team of the season cards or one or two specials and boom you're already up to like 40k minimum value uh, and then you can quick sell the rest for 10k so it's 50k from one pack that's lowering your SBC cost down a lot and especially if you can do that SBC with players in your club that are untradeable that makes it a lot cheaper for you now I think those SBCs are great they're worth it now this SBC this might be the worst SBC of footies throwback team of the tournament challenges this is a re-released sbc that we got during the champions league final time period when spurs were playing tottenham those final days of the champions league this sbc came out and it was really cool they gave us some packs it was really cool to have this come out but the same thing happened this time that happened last time they didn't supply the rare uefa champions league rare items the common or the rare items. They did not supply them on the market. Um, in my opinion, these UCL rare cards, in, co in combination with the, the primer icons, were basically like the worst thing ever for this year's FIFA Ultimate Team. Those are the two worst, the biggest things that were the worst this year. Uh, this is just ridiculous as well. Um, you might have seen my tweet that I posted on this card earlier today. I bought this uh, Musa Dembele card because I'm building an entire Spurs team for a weekend league in the future, and I was going to have him on the bench. So I bid 10,000 coins on this card at some point this morning. I saw it on the market for open bid. I dropped a 10K bid on an 85. I figured this is probably going to go through. It did. I bought the card for 10,000 coins, and then this new SBC comes out literally two hours later, this team of the tournament SBC. And I listed that card up for 55,000 coins, and it sold. How crazy is that, that an 85 rated Musa Dembele card, because these UCL rare cards are required for these SBCs, how crazy is it that somebody paid 55,000 coins just to get some of these packs back? And I doubt you can make 55K from one of these packs unless you pack a big player. So that's just crazy that somebody did that. But the biggest point here that is a problem is EA did not um, supply those rare cards. So all of them right now on the market, if you're looking at a UCL rare card, uh, I think we can search if we can go special. If we go to like 10K, if we go to like 10K right here, what do we see for under 10,000 coins special cards on the market? All we see are ones to watches. Um, and I know I'm sure a lot of people are trying to snipe these cards back here at the 59th minute. Some of these UCL rare cards because they're, they're just literally extinct. You cannot buy them on the market, which is crazy. Because at some point this year, all these those cards were so cheap, but EA has not given us an SBC that supplied those cards in so long that they have literally just gone extinct, they have gone missing, and they are just nowhere to be found. I mean, that's why this SBC was so frustrating today because people want to complete it, and I, I get the idea from what EA wanted to do here with this SBC. They wanted to give us some packs, which is nice of them. GG EA. This is like those carnival SBCs we've been getting. They just wanted to give us some SBCs to get some packs from and make us happy. Give us a little something to do, a little four-part SBC. Um, but they just copy and pasted this SBC and they forgot that they did not um, give out any of the UCL rare cards that they had supplied in the past, which is honestly a very big problem because when there's no supply but a ton of demand, those player prices go insane. It's like Team of the Week cards or gold cards um, that have Team of the Week versions that are out of packs. There's no supply for those cards in the beginning of the game. There's a ton of demand for that player's gold card if it's a usable player, and that player's price goes skyrocketing up because there's no supply, but people are still willing to buy that card and the price goes up. Same thing here. All of these UEFA Champions League players are extinct. So that was uh, that's probably the worst SBC of footage just because it's almost impossible to do. I'm not going to be able to sit here and do that SBC for you guys on stream because uh, there's no way for me to get UCL rare players at the moment right now, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, one other thing, uh, this is our last week of footies, boys. I'll probably talk about this tomorrow in another market outlook video, the ones that we do on Mondays, the usual market outlook. 
But we only have like four days left of footies. We have four days left of footies. Batch three of footies, the best of packs is going to be ending in four days. All this stuff is going to get back to normal. We'll have gold cards back in packs again. All of these team of the seasons will be out of packs. All these special cards will be out of packs. And unless EA does something very different, this game is literally, literally going to die. It's going to be interesting to see what EA does. Are they just going to throw everything back in packs for the rest of the year? Um, are they just going to stop the game and just let it die and completely ignore it and just keep going with FIFA 20 stuff? Or, yeah, that's the biggest question here, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the coming days. Yeah, as you can see, I had this Ben Davies card on my transfer list as well. was trying to watch him. He went for 4.5K. He's now extinct uh, because that 82-rated card. There's no supply for it on the market, man, which is very, very crazy. So hopefully we get these 81-plus packs uh, Monday, people are saying, is a possible day for those. I really hope if EA could send us out with a bang, even if it's just two days for 81-plus packs, I would absolutely love that from EA. That would be insane. So hopefully we do get those. But again, if you are considering doing this uh, footies SBC, whether it is Milinkovic Savage, which I'm going to do actually probably right now, or the second chance version of Griezmann, I would highly recommend that doing the Griezmann SBC instead of doing uh, buying the card off the market, unless you're somebody who really loves the dynamic images and who loves um, the the best get, having the absolute best version of every card inside of the game. Griezmann right now is like 500,000 coins, whereas that SBC you, you can do for uh, 300k or less if you have tradables in the club as well. So if, that's just a great way to get a 96 rated player um, for 300,000 coins, get a couple packs back and have some fun with that as well. So that's a little footies update for you guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.